the idea that nucleons, that is, protons and neutrons, could be split into smaller particles was developed in the 1960s. These smaller particles were called quarks. The theory developed to identify six types or flavours of quarks. These were rather weirdly but memorably named as up and down, charm and strange, top and bottom. Three of these, up, charm and top, have a charge of plus two thirds, whereas down, strange and bottom have a charge of minus one third. Only two of the quarks are stable and they make up all normal matter, that is protons and neutrons. Hadrons are particles which are made up from quarks. Of these, baryons comprise three quarks and mesons two. The group of particles called baryons, of which protons and neutrons are the most significant members, are composed of three quarks. The proton, one down and two up quarks, and the neutron, two down and one up quark. The charges on these quarks comprise the total charge on each of the nucleons. For instance, a proton is made from two up quarks, charged two thirds, and one down quark, charged minus a third. The total charge is therefore one. A neutron is two down and one up quark, and those charges cancel out to zero, that is two thirds minus a third minus a third. I started by saying there are six quarks, but in fact there are twelve, because each quark has an antiparticle, an anti-up, an anti-down, and so on. Therefore, there are 12 in total. None of the antiquarks are stable. Mesons are unstable particles consisting of a quark and an antiquark. An example of this is the pi meson or pion, which has an up quark and a down antiquark. The strange quark was so called because the mesons that included it had a strangely long life. Only about a nanosecond, but longer still than the other mesons. For the last of our examples, this particle, the negative kaon, consists of a strange quark and an anti-up quark. So far as we are concerned, the most important lepton is the electron, but there are two others, the mu and the tau. Or, if we count the associated neutrinos, there are six leptons. The electron-like particles and the neutrinos exist as a weak doublet. The pairing is sometimes likened to a dog with a flea. Unlike fleas, neutrinos can exist separately. The electron, with its neutrino, is part of all normal matter in our universe. And these are stable particles, although in fact all of the neutrinos are stable, whereas the charged mu and tau are not. We said there were six leptons, or perhaps three, but in fact we can count twelve, because every particle has its antiparticle. The antimatter electron is called the positron, and it is also stable. Unless, of course, it collides with its counterpart, the electron. If a particle collides with its corresponding antimatter particle, then they will annihilate. The resulting pulse of energy may be emitted as photons or converted into other particles. Notes supporting this video are available on the website. Thank you for watching. For free notes to support this video and to view many other videos with supporting notes, please go to the website at www.physics.org.